Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our science lab. lab. I am Dr. Nowlin, and this is my assistant, Dr. Nowlin. No, I am Dr. Nowlin, and this is my assistant, Dr. Nowlin. Dr. Nowlin. Dr. Nowlin. Today, we will be studying the science of sound. sound! Oh, sorry. Sound is created by tiny vibrations in the air. Your ear takes those vibrations and interprets the sounds. Let's play a little game I call Name That Sound. My assistant here. You're my assistant. We'll make a sound and you guess what that sound is. Here's sound number one. Here are your three options. Let's listen to that sound one more time. The answer was paper ripping. Did you get it right? Here's sound number two. Can you figure out what this sound is? your three options. Let's listen to that sound one more time. I got it. That answer was spaghetti in a pot. Good job, friends. Here is our last sound. Let's listen to it. three options. Let's listen again. That one's tricky. That last sound was the sound of tapping on a can. Try this experiment at home and see if you can trick your family with the sounds that you make. How did you do? Did you get them all right? It's okay if you didn't, because sometimes our perception of sound can change. Here's an experiment you can try at home to try and trick your ears. Take a tube of paper or a paper towel roll and hold it to one ear. It's going to take the sound a lot longer to get to your ear because it has farther to travel. Have a friend tap two spoons together on either side of your head. Try to identify where the sound is coming from. Here, here, here. Ha! The trick worked. See, my assistant... You're my assistant. ...thought the taps were on her right. However, they were right above her head. The tube over her ear made it so that the sound got to her right ear before it got to her left ear. It was like a sound race. First one to the finish line wins. Now, my turn. My assistant... You're my assistant. ...will try to trick me now. But I've got really good ears, so I think I'll get it anyway. We'll see about that. Now it's my turn. Here. Here. Oh, here. Now, we learned that sound travels to our ear as vibrations. Our ears are designed to pick up these vibrations, but did you know that you can feel and even see the effects of the sounds as well? You can feel vibrations through things like your phone, your headphones, or speakers in your car. But we want to try another experiment to show these vibrations. Make sure you ask your parents' permission before we begin. Take a large bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. Make sure it's good and tight. Now put some uncooked rice on the top. 
Take a metal pan and hit it next to the rice. You'll notice that the rice will start to jump and dance. And who wouldn't when listening to a beat like that? Now that you know what sound is, let's talk about how it can change. When you talk about high or low sounds, you are talking about pitch. Now don't get high and low mixed up with loud and soft. Just because you turn the volume up high when you hear your favorite song doesn't mean you are changing the pitch. You're actually changing the volume, making it louder. Okay, okay. Volume is loud and quiet. Can we get back to pitch, please? Yes, of course. A high pitch is made by fast vibrations like this. A low pitch is made by slow vibrations like this. And always remember that high is fast and low is slow. For our last experiment, you'll need a glass and some water. Now make sure to do this with your parents' permission. Now before we add water to this glass, let's hear what it sounds like. Let's make a prediction. What do you think will happen to the pitch if I add water? What will happen if I take some away? Let's find out. It got lower. Yes, the pitch went down. More water filled the space, so the vibration slowed down and lowered the pitch. <sighs> I'm such a great scientist. <gasps> no! Oops. Well, let's see what happens now that there's less water. Now the pitch is higher because there's less water. Can I finish that? I'm still a little thirsty. So we have prepared some glasses to match three pitches. One is the note C, one is the note D, and the last is the note E. We're moving up by steps. This allows us to play a few songs. Some of these you might have learned on recorder. See if you can identify each song and maybe even sing along. Here's our first song. Next song. See if you can identify this one. Try creating your own songs at home by adding or subtracting water. You can even make your own little band. Well, thanks for joining us today. We had a lot of fun learning about sound, vibrations, and pitch. We're going to end our video with a wrap about all the things we've learned today. Thanks for joining us. Doctor. 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 Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns.
what we learned about buns and we learned about pitch. pitch. Learning all the signs could make you rich. We learned about sound made with vibration, something that's heard through all of the nations. Science is cool, but how about sound? It spreads joy all around. There's regular sounds like cars and cats, but, but music, music is, is where, where my heart is at. Science and music go together well. We had a lot of fun. If you couldn't tell, that's all for now in, in the, the Music, music Science, Science Lab. Lab. You being here really made us glad. We'll see you later, friends. Please take care. We'll, we'll be, be back, back so, so you better, better prepare. prepare.